you are interested in long-lasting continuous shooting with the Canon EOS R100, then stay tuned to find out which memory cards are the best and best price performance recommendations. <laughs> We have some good and some bad news. The good one, you don't need too fast, too expensive memory cards for the EOS R100. The memory card slot is located here, right at the bottom, very close to your battery, and is capable of using SD memory cards with UHS-1 interface. So these cards with one contact wall on the back. That's the good news, so you don't need expensive cards because you just two, there's no speed difference. The bad news, the image buffer in the Canon EOS R100 is quite small, which isn't too uncommon for entry-level cameras because it's yeah, just another price point. So if the camera is set up to raw image quality, so the best quality you can get with the EOS R100, the image buffer lasts only for as you can hear, maybe a second and a half. Then you have to wait a bit so the image buffer is cleared and the camera can take some more images, but it's not really useful for, let's say, a longer lasting continuous shooting, let's say shooting birds or whatsoever. What you can do is go into the camera menu and go from wall to the so-called seawall or compressed wall. Those images are compressed, as you can guess, so therefore it's a bit longer lasting, but not too much. And the third option, then that's my actually my recommendation, if you really wish to do longer lasting continuous shooting, switch to JPEG image quality. Those files are a lot smaller, and as you can already hear, you can take yeah, maybe 10-15 seconds without any interruption, so that's a much, much, much better result and much better suitable for longer lasting continuous shooting. So, if you want to do longer lasting continuous shooting, JPEG is the way to go, or at least see war instead of the normal war image quality. But now, which memory cards are the best and the best price performance recommendation? All the tests I did before were done with the Kingston Canvas Select Plus, which is a great price performance UHS-1 memory card. So I switched the camera back to just raw image quality for the reason that it won't take too long, so you can hear difference much faster. So as you heard, one, one and a half seconds full speed, and then it takes some time to fill up the buffer. It's the same for other UHS-1 or better UHS-1 SD memory cards like the very popular Sandus Extreme series. Depending on your region, it could be 150, 170, 180 megabytes per second. But in camera, it's the same speed and the same speed as with the Kingston card. So it's really more up to finding a good deal for either of those memory cards and you get yeah, nearly the same speed. If you wish, you can switch to UHS-2 memory cards. Those cards have two contact rows on the back. I have two examples here, one from Alexa, the 1667 series, and here the Sabrent Rocket V60. Both UHS-2 memory cards are more entry-level mid-range UHS-2 memory cards, so they are not too expensive, like 10 times more expensive compared to the Kingston or Sanders card. It's more like 30 to 50 cents per gigabyte, which is quite fine actually for a new just to memory card. I will took the Sabrent Rocket V60 for this test. So the speed, this way around, the speed in the camera is actually the same because as already mentioned, it's an UHS-1 memory card slot. So there's no performance improvement in camera, so you get the same performance. So why should you invest more money? The reason is there are tons and really tons of memory card readers with an UHS-2 memory card interface out there, even in a lot of notebooks. So if you transfer a lot of images from the, your SD memory card to your PC, Mac, whatever, it's much, much quicker, up to three times quicker compared to UHS-1 SD memory cards. 
So there's no benefit in camera, but definitely a benefit in your workflow if you don't want to wait, I don't know, 15 minutes, but more like five minutes, then that's the way to go. Grab a good mid-range UHS-2 memory cards. In total, we tested over 40 SD memory cards for the Canon EOS R100. If you want to check out all results and hourly updated price performance recommendations, Check out the link in the video description below or more conveniently in the info card. Unfortunately, we have to hit 1000 subscribers so we can activate that feature. So if you want to do yourself a favor, subscribe for the channel, leave a thumbs up and thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.